In September, the Lobaki team traveled to San Juan County, Utah to visit with faculty and students at the White Horse High School near the Navajo Nation and to introduce local students and faculty to the wonders and awe of virtual reality. No, 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 get out of here, no. It felt so surreal. I'd probably like create a room where you'll get to actually feel the heat and like the humidity in it. I would like to like uh, make more experiences because like people in the cities, they don't get to experience outdoors as much. So if we can like do a hiking program or something like that, or um, even mountain or a horse riding. At one point I thought about kids interviewing their grandparents and those stories and then making stories come alive. Kids can be in this virtual space and practice welding, but there's no danger of getting burned or starting a fire. There would be endless possibilities to apply VR here at Whitehorse High School. After a day of exploring the possible applications of virtual reality with the faculty and students at Whitehorse High School, the Lobaki team set off on the second phase of their mission, which was to cover hundreds of miles in San Juan County, reviewing various telecommunication sites and assets, and looking for a way to leverage these to bring high-speed, affordable broadband services to the families and students of the poorer areas of the county and give them the opportunity to be part of a global economy.